Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Okie Vision. My name is Ryan Barnett, Sports Information Director here at Menlo College. And my guest this week is none other than Menlo College Director of Golf, Coach Mike Givens. Thanks for joining me, Coach. Good morning. Thanks for uh, having me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. And we are excited to have you because I believe some uh, congratulations are in order right now. Uh, of course, the NAIA coming out with their Scholar Team and Scholar Athlete Awards earlier this week. And not only were both of your teams, both men's and women's golf, named scholar teams, but you had seven team members combined uh, named scholar athletes and four named uh, academic All-Americans, of course, honoring both these athletes' uh, ability on the course and in the classroom. Now, could you talk to me a little bit about how important it is to have a well-rounded team like that, a team that succeeds both on the course and in the classroom? Well, I, I believe it's really important to succeed both on the course uh, and in the classroom. And I think I've had to do some self-reflection when I first got on campus to uh, understand the importance of it with recruiting purposes. And I understood that the, the kids that we need to get on campus are the ones that are academically sound, uh, have a passion for academics and want to succeed in life. And so understanding that when I started recruiting, uh, probably after the, I think the third year, second year, third year, I realized uh, we got to change the the culture of what we got going here. So uh, not only am I recruiting uh, quality golfers, but also those that are academically sound and uh, that fit the, uh, the mold of uh, Menlo College and its family philosophy. So uh, I'm really proud of all, all of our student athletes on our team. Uh, it's, it's, they're the ones that are doing the work. I just kind of go to practice and, and do my job, but uh, they're the ones doing the work in the classroom. So hats off to all of them. Well, we heard it from not only you, but also uh, Coach Rooney of the men's basketball team, uh, Coach Kristen Thompson, Coach Denise Sheldon, that it's, that's what it's all about here at Menlo. You know, you're not just recruiting athletes, but you're recruiting people who are part of the culture. And uh, it seems like you've done a great job uh, and definitely, you know, the proof is in the pudding there, uh, you know, with your scholar athletes and your two scholar teams. Uh, uh, I appreciate that. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, we, we're doing the best we can. And I want to tell you this, so, our, our student athletes, our golfers, they, they actually help out uh, in the recruiting process as well. I mean, I, I will get their feedback from, from uh, our team. I, that's important. So they want to make sure it's a good fit for them as well. Well, Coach, we've talked about the success in the classroom. Let's talk a little bit about the success this year on the course. Uh, once again, a brilliant season, uh, of course, starting with the fall season. And then, unfortunately, the spring season being cut short. But your ladies, uh, of course, picked to win the conference. And uh, the men's team right up there with the conference big boys in Arizona as well. Uh, you know, it was a fun, fun start to the season. And you only graduated one golfer between both teams. Talk about what kind of momentum that carries you with into this upcoming season. Well, golf, unlike a lot of other team sports, uh, these players have an opportunity to work on their own during the fall, like we have in our situation right now. Uh, they are all self-motivated. I really am just a guide for them, but they go out there and like right now, they're probably competing on the golf course, unless obviously if they have class going. Our players are really, really motivated to be the best they can be. And one of the things I kind of uh, preach in, in uh, practice time is not only do we want to be the best golfers yourself, but you want to make your team and teammates better as well. So uh, in that aspect, because golf is a team sport, one guy or one gal can't do it. We need everybody to, to uh, compete and do well. So everybody is stepping up to the plate and it's, it's fun to watch them practice and compete. It really is. Yeah. And I think you, you highlighted it perfectly there. Uh, you know, everybody stepping up to the plate and that this is a team sport, despite so much of a, uh, you know, golf being based off of an individual score, it is a team sport at the collegiate level. Uh, so let's focus a little bit on your women's team. Of course, uh, everyone was expecting big things from Ulica coming back after the brilliant freshman campaign this year. But of course, you and your coaching staff were not complacent in the recruiting. You bring in a bunch of great golfers around her. I mean, Catherine Batang, Dasa Urbankova, uh, Francesca Garcia, the list goes on just to name a few. And, you know, you continue that success. Uh, talk about how exciting it is to have a team that's continuing to grow. I mean, we see more golfers coming in this year. Uh, and your team just has shown great growth, not just with, uh, you know, with golfers to support you, but golfers who are right up there challenging her. And I'm sure, you know, making her a better golfer as well. 
Oh, absolutely. Not only the challenger, uh, sometimes they are playing uh, maybe a stroke or two better uh, in a round. Uh, we have a great, a fantastic women's team, and every single one of the, our players on that team are very competitive. And watch them in practice. It is just an absolute treat to sit there and watch. Let's say a foursome goes out, and it doesn't matter which foursome it is. They'll go out, uh, they'll go out together, and uh, all of a sudden I'm, I'm down 250 yards, and I see four balls right in the fairway off, off the tee box. I mean, they're just fun to watch. Uh, what is nice, and I love it, and this is the culture I change as well, is I had to recruit – student athletes that love to compete and have a passion for competition. Just to go out and play golf, that was not cutting it. We want and we need to have uh, ladies that want to compete. And so at practice, oh, we always have competitions in practice, uh, whether it's putting, uh, pitching, uh, bunker play, what have you. We have a point system at the end of the week. We give out player of the week award. And so they really compete hard in practice. And you can see it. if someone beats somebody else, uh, they're not really happy about losing. I mean, uh, they're, they're friends, but uh, they have a chip on their shoulder in practice. And the next day, they're going to turn around and, and get after it. And I'm very proud of uh, the ladies that we have on our team because they absolutely are hungry uh, to win. Yeah, that's awesome to hear. And, of course, we see that out on the course. But that's something we don't get to see as the fans uh, and the spectators right. as, is that competition at practice. So thank you for giving us that inside look. And that explains a lot on why we see every one of your golfers seeming to improve and be right up at the top uh, in every tournament. Let's switch focus a little bit to the men's team now. Of course, the Ingle brothers have sort of been the face of Menlo golf for the past three seasons. But last year, you know, everyone was seen to be at top form. Uh, you had tournament leader, uh, different tournament leader, seemingly every tournament. I mean, whether it was Tom Field, Taishu Kung, uh, Anders Bauman, you know, guys who are stepping up. And once again, like we said on the women's team, I'm sure pushing Christian and Frederick to compete at their top form as well. Uh, now, how important is it to have a team that's not just top heavy, but has golfers up and down the roster who can step up and be the top performer? You know, you could have a different top performer at every tournament. Oh, it, it's, it's really important to have a whole, uh, the whole team be able to compete. Like I said, we do uh, competitions and our, maybe our top two will probably be consistent who they are, but our three through eight guys, they're, they're battling for those last spots on, on the uh, tournament team. And it's just, again, they all get after it and they make each other better. Every day we go out to practice and we're doing a qualifying round, uh, you can just see them just wanting to get that victory. So they all work hard. They all, when they're done with their round and there's still guys playing on the qualifying, they stick around. They want to see who does what and, and who – who's playing well, who's not, it's, uh, it's really a, a treat. And I will say this um, because this also helps out. Yesterday I had a phone call from uh, Jay Rick, one of our former golfers, <clears throat> and he goes, I hear you guys have a, a pretty good team coming up this year. I go, yeah, we have, a, we have some guys coming up that are pretty good. He goes, Coach, I want to let you know every player looks online to see who you've recruited because they want to see what's coming in and, and uh, what they have to do to get after it. So that's good to hear that uh, uh, players are aware of, hey, we're trying to be the best we can be, and I need to go out and, and get the best players that will be a good fit for Menlo College golf team. Well, it's good to hear that, uh, you know, Jay Rick and your alumni are engaged, and uh, they, they are helping out, it seems, as well oh, with some of the recruiting. Uh, I think, that's, do. I think yep. that segues us nicely into talking about this year's incoming class. Uh, by my count, I think we have two new ladies coming on and six new men on the squad. Uh, you know, what, what should we keep an eye out for and who should we keep an eye out for as a newcomer onto the golf team? Well, I, I'm all about the team concept, so I probably won't name names because I, I don't think at this point in time I can say that because they're freshmen coming in. Um, so uh, the, the recruiting class we got for the men's, outstanding. We have some good kids all, around, all, all coming in. So uh, we have some uh, high expectations for every single one of those players coming in. So I will say that. And for the ladies, same, same thing. Two gals we got coming in, I expect big things from them to, to push and compete for uh, tournament play. Well, that's exciting to hear, Coach. And, you know, of course, we expect no less. We've seen the great upward trend since you coming in and taking the helm, and we're really excited to see how that, continue, that growth continues and hopefully, hopefully all the way to a GSAC title in the near future. Uh, now, last question for you. Uh, 
Of course, golf, a little bit different from uh, the other sports that we've spoken to so far on this show, in the sense that even with social distancing, your student athletes are able to get out there and practice and improve. How have you as a coach been able to keep in contact with your student athletes and sort of log their improvement and their practice time, even though you haven't been able to get the face-to-face -face time that you may have gotten if the students were back on campus this fall? Uh, well, we, we've done it as far as uh, uh, Zooming goes. We Zoom once a week. I don't make it mandatory. If they have questions, things like that, they come on and, and ask the questions. Uh, I have told them in previous Zooms, uh, keep on practicing, working hard. Uh, again, for me to motivate them, it's unlike, it's unlike coaching football or, or baseball. Sometimes you have to have a, like a pregame motivation uh, for the players. All these players are so self-motivated. They take care of business themselves because just like you said, we have a recruiting class coming in and they know if they don't take care of business, uh, they're going to be um, uh, bypassed. So they understand what, what's, uh, uh, what's important and what they need to do to uh, be successful. So I really don't worry about them uh, getting after it. So uh, our Zoom meetings are, are just specifically to check in, say hello, how's everybody doing? Are you okay? You're healthy? You're safe at home? Uh, do you need any help with your academics? That's more of our conversations going on because I know uh, the golf aspect of it, uh, I don't have to worry about that. They get right after it. And I'm sure your student athletes definitely appreciate that trust you put into them as well. Coach, uh, I want to thank you so much for your time and for joining us this week on Okie Vision. Ryan, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And go Oaks. Yes, sir. Go Oaks indeed. And fans, uh, stay tuned next week for another exciting interview. We'll do our best here on Okie Vision to keep your, your finger on the pulse of everything going on with Menlo College Athletics. Have a great week. We'll see you next week. Thank you.